feature for the advanced Canvas users that are trying to build content in their courses and they want to use uh, some cool things in, in, when they're developing their pages. Again, we're going to go to the Commons and we're going to import um, a little thing I put in here. You pop pop-ups. There we go. That's good enough. You pop up. Good enough. You pop up. So I'm going to click that and I'm going to uh, import. And I'm going to choose my fake Herman course, and I'm going to import into the course. It says you have successfully started the import. It may take a little while to see changes in your course. Um, if I go to my course, fake Herman course, um, it says one or more items are currently being imported. They will be shown in the course below once they are available. You can click on import status, and uh, it says one or more items still in there. So here it is, um, right there. Um, it's queued right now, so it's waiting to come in and uh, not available quite yet. So you can try to refresh the page and, and see, and there it was, it's completed. Okay, so I'm going to go to Pages and check this out. Uh, view all pages. And so now there will be an imported uh, page in here called Pop-Ups. So if you click on that, here's what it looks like. So Here's a page, and you can change your title and stuff, but it says, what is uh, four cubed? This is a question. And if you click on it, there's a little pop-up, and it shows you like how to solve it. Okay, so that's all it is. You can uh, put little questions, and you can just, someone could click on it, and you, know, and you could even say like click for answer or something, and you click on it, and it'll do a little pop-up. So let's see how this works. If I want to edit this page, um, so you got some things here. There's a question, and then there's kind of an answer down here, and it, that looks like it's be hard to do here. And the reason is uh, you need to actually go and look at the code. So down here at the bottom, there's a little uh, this little HTML editor uh, makes us look at the code, which most people are very fearful of and don't want to do at all. So uh, what we have here is we have an A, um, and basically a link. There's an ID link one. Style. We did some styling on some things right here, and there's a, um, an href pop-up number one, and that's referring to this ID down here in this div. So there's an opening division and a closing division, and the ID of this div is pop one. So this right here is referencing that pop one. You could have called this thing and this thing anything you wanted. Um, in fact, you could you could uh, copy this whole thing. In fact, let's just do that. Let's copy all that code, come down here, and let's paste it in again. But now let's do like pop up uh, two, or we could even do it even you know something even like p two and and p two, and we could do a different question. Um, we could do what is uh, four plus three, and then you could do down here in this answer. You could do four plus three equals, uh, not 64, 7, okay, something like that, okay, so you, up in the code is where you put your questions in the, in this section right in here, and then in the div down here, you got to make sure you have, uh, the same reference there, and you can put your answer, so I could, uh, close up the coding, and now I kind of got, it looks like this, but to actually see how it works, you got to click save and kind of look at the page, so I have what is 4 plus 3, and I can click that, and it says it's 7. I can do what is 4 cubed, and you could have, you know, 64. Okay. Um, I'm going to show you one more thing here real quick. Edit it. Edit the code. Um, you'll notice that we have, like, a little emoji in here. So I did this in another video. If you, I go to Emojipedia. emojipedia um, dot org, and there's different... Uh, you know, symbols, like here's a bell. If I click on the bell, I can click copy on the bell, and I can come here, and I could actually, like, um, instead of this little thing right here, I could paste in, like, a bell. You know what? I'm going to post it in the answer. I'm not sure if it'll work in the pop-up or not, but we'll try it. Okay? Um, I'm going to click Save on that. So there, there's a bell now. What is 4 plus 3? If I click it, and it does, it works in the pop-up. So you can you can get all these different little emojis and you know put them put them in there also just a fun little extra thing that for you to be able to do okay so that's how you can do some pop-ups on your pages you can use them as like a check for understanding in your 
in your page. If you have a problem, all of a sudden you want them to try, you can just click it and they'll check it, check their answer.